Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're a bit behind, I apologize for that. Um, like I said in my previous videos, I know I keep saying, you know, it's been crazy, but you guys have no idea. We're still trying to catch up to the emails from the past two months. So I apologize um, for that. Thank you guys for being very patient. Let's get into your reading, Gemini. We're gonna get into the shells, the tarot, and then your oracle cards. Let's hope I don't forget your oracle cards. I just forgot uh, for one sign that I did previously to this one and uh, I feel horrible. So now I'm gonna have to do a specific video for that sign. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of March, 2021. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. Wow, we got a lot of shells here. All right, Gemini's. There's a lot of commotion going on for you guys. Um, I see for some of you guys, you're thinking about either relocating or changing careers. Uh, for some of you guys, it's almost like a feeling. There's this burst of energy that's coming towards you guys. You've been feeling a bit stagnant. For some of you guys, a bit of like experiencing a lot of blockages and almost like looking up and saying when is it going to end or when is life going to be easier um and i definitely see that happening i feel that there is a purpose behind this um a lot of you guys have been growing uh this could be becoming more in tune with your spirituality this could become or this could potentially uh speak about being able to connect to your higher self um there is a need there is a soul need uh for you guys to feed your soul uh, and the way we do that is, again, connecting with higher spirit or anything that is of spiritual practice. Uh, so I definitely see you guys either gathering some type of information. This could be you guys learning about different religions, different practices, um, even getting into a certain religion or a certain practice that perhaps in the past you haven't done. I see you guys really almost. OK, so they're telling me like you guys are the rebels or you're trying the best you can to remove yourself from anything or anyone that has created or set any type of limitations for you guys. And this could include limitations from even childhood, like growing up, what we're taught is right and what we're taught is wrong. I see you guys really like, okay, I have the power. I have the power to create the life I want. Um, is it bad to want growth? Is it bad to want success? Is it bad? Well, it's not because... If it wasn't in me, then I wouldn't desire that. So I have potentially the power to manifest that for me. So it's like you guys thinking for yourselves. And I know this is nothing new. Geminis are known for that. Um, but what they're telling me here is I do see you guys kind of like, okay, this is a pattern. This happened in my family. I'm not going to go down that path. I'm going to go this path or like rebels. You're, you're doing it on your own or you're expanding or going towards a different direction because you're wanting to attain individuality. So I think that's very important and that's a beautiful thing, Gemini. Uh, for a lot of you guys, again, like I said, I do see a lot of potential here for the month of March. I do see you guys being extremely social or being around a lot of people, a lot of communication, a lot of messages coming through. I do see you guys being, uh, being a little bit more social than, than usual. Uh, perhaps more social than the past couple of months. However, they are telling you, um, be careful with your energy. So what I mean by that is do not put yourself out there like that in the sense of um, be mindful of the people that you surround yourself with. If you have a tendency of <clears throat> either having family members or people around you that are extremely negative or that bring out the worst in you, uh, instead of criticizing them or instead of feeding into that energy, try to ask yourself, why are they like trying to hinder or why are they trying to get that that rise out of you? Um, it speaks more about them. Now, if this is you in the contrast and you're the one that gets irritated, then I ask you uh, for this month of March, take it back, internalize, figure out why is this person? Why is my cousin? Why is my brother? Why is my sister? Why is my mom? Why is my dad testing me? Why do they keep pushing my buttons? It's, again, uh, perhaps a karmic lesson that you need to unfold or unravel to understand. Um, a lot of the times, it's not about us. It's about them having to deal with certain things that they're insecure about or that there needs a healing there. But 
on the other hand, sometimes it's about us. <laughs> if, if we're the ones that are being irritated or if we're the ones that are being tested and you know we go from zero to 100 real quick, we kind of have to take a step back and be like, why does this person irk me the way they do? Um, sometimes it's karmic connections, karmic lessons that we need to learn. Um, and, and it's almost like a revelation. There is a need for you to end a certain cycle uh, that has a lot to do with family dynamic or people around you. These are people that you choose to be around. So this could be friends. This could be even lovers. Uh, if you have a tendency of attracting people that bring out the worst thing, like it's very passionate and intense, and then all of a sudden it turns really ugly really fast, it has, there's a karmic lesson there that you need to learn. So it's about taking it back and trying to analyze what is it that really triggers you and why does it trigger you? I see you guys, again, like I said, really trying to understand people's behaviors on a diff, on a deeper level. And I feel that this is something that your soul is like wanting to tap into or that is pushing you to tap into. Um, and, and it's speaking about, you know, karmic lessons that we need to learn or that we need to go through to let that shit unravel, face it, deal with it to be able to move on from that type of energy, okay? Now, I do see progress here in regards to your finances. Like I said, I do see for some of you guys changing residency or travel is going to be uh, unfolding for you guys. I don't see it in March. I see it around uh, May, June, maybe. Um, but uh, I, I do see you guys either taking the opportunity to travel or making plans to travel around that time frame. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the person that starts with the letter L, uh, with the letter S, with the letter P, with the letter E, with the letter B or V. Okay. All right. So that could be the person that's triggering you. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, let's get into your tarot cards. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2021. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding? What is coming towards you? What new opportunities, challenges, or obstacles you may be dealing with for this month of April? Sorry, March. I said April. Oh, wow. I see love coming towards you in April, you guys. I just picked up on that. All right, so that could be the reason why I said April for the month of March 2021. Okay, so they're telling me for the month of April, there may be um, new people coming in or a love potential that is coming in in the month of April. Um, there's a love offering or a love connection that is unfolding before you guys. All right, so your card here, the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords indicates lies, sneakiness, uh, people that are fake, people that, you know, kiss you high. And when you're no longer in their presence, they speak behind your back. Uh, this could be the reason why they were saying, uh, be careful with the energy or the people that you surround yourself with. Okay. I see this more on a social level. So what I mean by that is the friends, the family members that have friends or bring friends around you, uh, this could also potentially represent um, a certain individual that is brought in by friends or family. So this is an outsider's energy that I'm sensing. So just be careful with their intentions or be careful the information you give. Geminis have a tendency of oversharing. Um, and I feel that this is a person that is not to be trusted. So if you don't want rumors or any type of drama, just be careful the information that you put out for the month of March, okay? All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. This is your energy, Gemini. However, a little bit unfriendlier <laughs> than usual. Queen of Swords usually indicates listening to your mind, not your heart. This is about not hesitating to cut uh, communication or to cut connections with people that are toxic are people that have a tendency of having a certain type of pattern that brings out the worst in you. Queen of Swords is that of deliberating um, some type of order, some type of understanding of knowledge. She's holding, obviously, a crown in her head, uh, which indicates, you know, enlightenment or understanding. And based off of that understanding, you're cutting connections or you're cutting 
uh, toxic people out of your life. So that's a positive. Um, I see you guys being very methodical for this month of March. And this could be methodical in the sense of like really thinking of the future, um, making plans for the future or looking towards the future. Something that perhaps Geminis don't have a tendency of doing very often. You guys live in the moment. I love your free spirit. Uh, but they are telling me here that there is something that um, has a lot to do with either thinking of the future or where you want to be in the future moving forward. Now, your next card here is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I definitely see you guys cutting off certain connections, walking away from people that are just bringing the worst in you or bringing more chaos, more drama into your life. Um, this is you not really taking the bait or this is you not dealing with that type of energy anymore and walking towards, let's see what you're walking towards. You're walking towards a new beginning. You have the death card. Death card is major transformation. For some of you guys, it could represent um, dealing with some type of ending. For some of you guys, this could be relationships. This could be people from the past. Um, I feel heavily for some of you guys, there is a connection that is going to be either broken. I don't feel it romantically, though. I feel that this has more to do with either friends or family members that are about drama. And you've surpassed that. You're like, I'm done with that. I'm not dealing with that anymore. Um, I see you guys pulling your energy back. And I see you guys like really walking because the death card here. This is transformation. This is an ending cycle. They were talking about karma. So it could be an ending cycle of a certain pattern. But if you guys can see here closely, we have the sun, right? The sun, where is that? Right here. The sun. So there is an ending. However, there's a blessing that comes after that ending. So again, I feel that for some of you guys is, you know, just cutting people out, not dealing with that nonsense anymore. For others of you, it could represent um, a partner, perhaps a person that's been very inconsistent in your life that comes in and out. You're thinking now with your head and you're like, I'm not going to be dealing with this nonsense. I'm walking away. I'm not wasting my precious time. The death card transformation, that's when new beginnings unfold. That's when the transformation happens. That's when you're able to see the blessings that are coming your way. It's almost like there's been, see, what did I just say, you guys? I seen the sun <laughs> with the death card. They're telling me there's a hidden blessing behind this ending or this ending cycle. There is knowledge. There is enlightenment. There is, uh, for some of you guys, even information that's coming out um, where you felt that people were not being completely honest or they were keeping certain things from you. And finally, the sun card. The sun card is illumination. This is things being revealed. And you have the seven of swords here. So things being revealed, perhaps people that were trying to be sneaky, uh, people that were not being completely honest, they're going to be revealed. Anything that people have been moving in a weird way or sneaky way, that's going to be unfolding for the month of March. And enlightenment comes in. There is the sun shining in the darkness or in the shadows, what they've been trying to hide, what they've been, their intentions. This could even potentially represent um, a friend, a relative, someone that, you know, you thought was, had a strong bond with you. And then you hear certain things and you're like, well, it's rumors. And then you catch them in the act or you catch them talking bad behind your back. Or if they've been hiding something, it's going to be revealed in this month of March. Uh, the sun card represents blessings as well. So I do see blessings coming from this ending or this ending cycle. All right, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. So the message we have here is the bear. The bear is all about strength. This is all about power, being in your power. This is authority or having the authority, having the upper hand in a situation. This is about being self-confident in yourself and trusting your gut, Gemini. This is about being in your power and knowing if something feels off, it's fucking off. But sit back. Don't worry about it. Take a step back. 
let things unfold. Things will start to come out to the open. Be in your power. Don't allow people to get the best of you or to bring out the worst in you. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.